So my story is I was a wild and crazy young man when I was growing up in the 1960s. Yeah, I said it, the 1960s. I was a teenager then, and I was going 90 miles an hour down a dead-end street headed to hell in the age of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and I was involved in all of it, my friend. But one day, I realized that I needed the Savior. I needed someone to save me from my sins and give me eternal life. And that person was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. You see, there's only one way to heaven, my friend, and that's through Jesus Christ. He came to earth, put on a body, similar to how you and I would put on a coat, became a man, lived for 33 years, and willingly died, was buried and rose again to save you and me from our sins. My friend, if you believe that and you would like to have forgiveness of your sins, I want to lead you in a prayer right now after I explain this to you. First of all, you have to believe that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again the third day, that he's a living Savior and that he can save you. Then you have to be willing to turn away from your sins. That's called repentance. And then thirdly, you have to be willing to accept him as your Lord and Savior. So when I came to Christ and accepted him, I prayed a prayer something like this. Dear Jesus, I realize that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sin and come into my heart and save me. In Jesus' name I pray. And my friend, it was the greatest decision I've ever made. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ today, just pray that simple little prayer. And when you do, would you write in the comments below that you just prayed that prayer or you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And then if you have need of anything, write them in the comments below and I will respond to you. Thank you, friend. Bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.